Hey everybody, Norm over here, here with my really good buddy and one of my favorite players in the entire world and also one of favorite, one of Joe Bonamassa's favorites, Josh oh. Smith, Chris Kane, all the good guys are crazy about his plan, the great Kirk Fletcher and uh, oh. he lives in Switzerland, right? Yeah. And uh, you're doing a lot of gigs in Europe right now? And all that. Well, you know, I'll, I'll go back. I've been recording, but I'll go back to Switzerland here tomorrow, and I'm going to be doing a lot of gigs in Italy, France. So is everything kind of opening back up and getting... Well, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's all the way back normal, but there is a lot of stuff opening up, and I'm looking good. forward to getting out playing and just trying to work on my instrument. Right. <laughs> and uh, so you have a new record that you're doing right now. It'll be out a little later, right? Yeah, it'll be out... A long time from now, but um, yes, it's it's a, a record that I'm starting to record, and it's really, uh, you know, this whole pandemic and everything kind of just inspired me in a different way. Not all negative, but in a positive yeah, way. We'll give you a chance trying. to write tunes, write and songs, and, all that kind and of things stuff like and that. Woodshed and all that kind yeah, of stuff. So absolutely. it's good that you weren't wasting any time. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Kirk is now endorsed by Gibson. Woo and uh, Gibson. <laughs> is making this guitar. This is a blonde 345 stop tail mono and it's got an ebony fingerboard, right? So it's kind of like a 55 but with 45 inlays. Yeah. And just a really cool guitar. It says stereo but that's a yeah. lot, right? I know but I had to have this. Me and um, this is the brainchild of me and my dear friend Matt Kohler at the Gibson Custom Shop. Matt's a good guy and he knows his stuff. Yeah, and this is this has been in the works for a couple, two or three years. And what's that thing on the back of the headset? Oh, here? this is some definite Matt Kohler, Kirk Fletcher stuff here. I had to have the... Called the Stinger. Stinger. And it's like, the, you know, I really wanted to marry like the classic L5 look, you know, with the 345 and then yeah. the parallelograms because for the ebony board and the that. ebony fingerboard because of BB King. Yeah. And you yeah. said the wiring that there's a push pull and all. There's also a um, push pull so I can take it out of phase and I can use the variatone too to get all different degrees of out of phase a la live at the Regal. <laughs> cool. So, um, do we know when the Kirk Fletcher model is going to be announced? Well, we can all play a part in that. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing, well, nothing this on is the a cool guitar. Yet, but, and, yeah. you know, one of the things that Gibson's doing so cool now, which I'm so glad to see, they're kind of rolling the frets. Oh, so it yeah, feels so much is... better on the side of the neck when you're playing it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's just the really... The color of this guitar, the way they got the yeah. uh, tint and all that. Uh, what do they call this? Is this like light age or extra light? Or I think this is light, a light age. So it looks yeah. like a really clean vintage guitar. From the Murphy Lab. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> My buddy Tom Murphy he knows what he's doing. He and we've got a bunch of stuff coming from the Murphy Lab. Yeah. And uh, I'm proud to be a Gibson dealer again. So Absolutely. show us what this thing sounds like. Get all right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you engage the um, variatone, it's, you know, really a lot of fun. So... <laughs> Jimmy Nolan. Yeah, Woo! totally. All that. Great Jimmy Nolan, guitar yeah. player with James Brown. And yeah. we love a lot of the same music. Absolutely. And, you know, we're buddies and we love to talk about all the yeah. cool 
I got, we were just talking about this buddy of mine, John Cleary, who lives in New oh, Orleans. Yeah. One of the greatest New Orleans piano players. And years ago, uh, after Johnny Guitar Watson passed away, his wife sold me a few of his instruments yeah. and a mink coat that when you opened it up, it said Johnny Guitar. And my buddy John Cleary was walking around in New Orleans, he lives in New Orleans, where it's like 100 degrees and humid, <laughs> wearing this mink coat that said Johnny Guitar. That's so awesome. And he's awesome. very proud of it. You That's know? so awesome. And Johnny Guitar Watson was the guy. He was absolutely the guy. Piano player, singer, songwriter, guitar player extraordinaire from Texas who moved out to LA and recorded right. incredible sides. You know? He had an album Johnny Guitar Watson, but he didn't play guitar at all. He played <laughs> piano on the entire record. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That record is amazing. And it was like, you know, he was playing some jazz standards, but not with the right chords, but with really with cool really chords. really hip you know, stuff. Just, you yeah, know. it was really cool. It sounded yeah. like, uh, like you just walked into a bar and yeah. you know, a cool part of town. And, you know, just, it was really, really cool. And you he know, went through a lot of different phases. No, I just guitar. wanted to add too, since we were talking about a lot of the same music that we both love and right. stuff. This, these, uh, the the basic tracks for my um, new record, I, I started recording at Fame Studios and Muscle Schultz. That's the so, place. So you know, over this time, I, I just thought about all the dreams that I had. I you know dreamed for many years to go to Fame and just cut there because Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, you know Clarence Carter, and the yeah. list just goes on and on of people Absolutely. recording there. Absolutely, a lot of my favorite records were cut there. And, and it was the vibe. <laughs> it was they had, the vibe. They had great players that were yeah. the house band Jimmy there. Jimmy Johnson, yeah. and just Roger Hawkins. Reggie Young, I think, you know, was yeah. at, uh, he was at the other studio, the American studio. Yeah. There. But I think he did some stuff at Reggie Fame. was all over. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, just David really Hood, great players. David Hood, Clayton Ivey, mm -hmm. <laughs> Barry <Dan> Beckett, <laughs> Dan Spooner Oldham. Spooner and Oldham. Yeah, so, <laughs> Told you I love this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so those are the guys. So this is the kind of nonsense we talk yeah. about when we're just by ourselves. Totally. You know, we love this kind of oh. stuff. So. Well, I almost forgot to mention too my shirt. My shirt, uh, Norm just gave me this wonderful, fantastic 80s. He's right? man enough to wear that. Oh, color. yeah, totally. Man <laughs> in the hat. <laughs> Who was that? Every right? Right? Who was that? Man, man in the hat. hat. Was it uh, Wilson Pickett? Was it Wilson Pickett? Was it? Or was it oh, I'm probably going to get in trouble by all my friends. <laughs> Randy Bermudez and all the guys. All right. Well, all the. All the Professors of soul music. You know, so. but I'm gonna lose my about, card. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah. you know, you're already out of fame, fame now, so you know totally. I can't give you any crap. So, <laughs> but anyhow, always got to be looking for Kirk's music. One of the great players, great singer, and always has a great band. And uh, the Kirk Fletcher model coming up, and uh, so people start asking for that because it's really cool. And I was fooling around with it before. It feels great, looks great, sounds great. You could sound just like Kirk Fletcher if you had that. <laughs> All you got to do is learn how to play like that. You know. I'm going to go out and, you know, knock it around a little bit, you know, and play some gigs and, uh, you know, go from there. Very nice. But it's great well, working with those guys and, yeah. No, Matt's a good guy and yeah. Mark and all the other guys down yeah. there. So, uh, But it's always great having you out here. And, you know, great Kirk practically here. lives in his store when he's in L.A. <laughs> and uh, how's Josh Smith doing? By the way? Oh, Josh is doing good. Yeah. Josh is doing really good. I think he's actually texting me right now. Is he? <laughs> Probably. I saw a text the other day or I saw a thing on Facebook where he was at the Clipper game. Yeah. He was celebrating that. Like, I got to go. I'm at the game. <laughs> all right. Well. Play us out. I gotta just uh, <laughs> check my uh, phone here. <laughs> Let's get some weird stuff going here. <laughs> Thanks, Kirk. It's like my birthday. <laughs> <laughs>